Yo, whether you watching this from Facebook, Twitter, click the link in my Instagram or YouTube itself. What up, world? I uh, I just watched Overboard. It's the remake of the uh, 1987 Goldie Hawn, Kurt Russell comedy of the same name. This one stars Eugenio Derbez, Anna Ferris, Eva Longoria, and it's, uh, it's directed by Rob Greenberg. I went through his IMDb. I think this is the first movie that he's credited on on IMDb, but this is he's directed a lot of like sitcoms and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to get a shout out in my review of I don't know, let's let's say Life of the Party cuz it looks kind of funny, so I'll probably check it out. Uh stay tuned to the end of the video to figure out how you can do that. So um you got Anna Ferris, single mom, three daughters, Multiple jobs, trying to make ends meet, eviction notice, she's studying to be a nurse, and uh, she gets called to clean the carpets on Eugenio Derbez's yacht, and he um, falls off the yacht, catches amnesia, she convinces him that they're married, and then, you know, he is basically a fish out of water, like, he has the tendencies and habits of a stuck-up rich kid, but he gradually evolves into what she would like him to be, I guess. I watched the original Overboard this morning. I don't think I'd seen it before, and um, it's pretty good. Goldie Hawn starts off as the most despicable, spoiled uppity entitled rich person you would ever come across all about all about classism and poor people are beneath her this that and the third and her character arc of becoming more likable more humble is it was something that i really got invested in it's, it's kind of the same thing with eugenio derbez he he's um he was born rich all he does is party just jacuzzi with, with females, drinking, just every day is a fucking party. And um hit like his character his character transition is interesting, but I didn't f I wasn't invested in it as much as I was at Goldie Hawn's character. There's some jokes that are like some Mexican jokes. There are some jokes that are aimed at the Hispanic culture. And other than that, this movie is basically beat for beat the this the same movie as the remake. There, there are changes. It's not, it's you know, what I'm saying it's not a spouse that bails on the am, the character that catches the amnesia. Uh, there's some gender switching as far as um, Kurt Russell was was the the poor middle class working his ass off single parent. This time it's Anna Ferris. I'm drawing blanks, but I mean other than that, like this, this is a basic review. Like I didn't hate this movie. I didn't love it. There were some things I laughed at that I didn't expect to. Um, I did enjoy the original more. But this, is, this isn't this is a bad movie, though, man. I think, I think there can be enjoyment to be found, man. If you're a fan, man, definitely check it out. I haven't seen um, Instructions Not Included or How to Be a Latin Lover. But, I mean, Eugenio Derbez is funny, man. So with all that being said, man, uh, in my opinion, I will say that Overboard is solid. Have you seen Overboard? What did you think about it? Uh, positive, negative, somewhere in between? Let me know. Um, which one do you prefer, man? Do you like the original more or did you find this one to be more enjoyable? If you want that shout out in my review next weekend, within $2 million, higher or lower. I've never done this before, man. How much will Avengers make in its second weekend in the box office? Be the first, be the closest, get your guesses in by noon central time on Sunday. Um, I hope to have a J. Cole KOD review soon. I um, have reviewed Avengers. I have reviewed Rampage, Blockers, uh, A Quiet Place. I want to review soon Life of the Party, Deadpool, Solo by the end of the month. I'll have a May movie talk eventually by the end of the month. Um, so like, subscribe, comments. Find me where you find me, man. Don't know where to find me. Watch these credits. Peace.